So, you have no idea what's going on up here on this side of the menu. Not a problem. This top part is called the outliner. It's basically the same exact thing as the outliner in Maya, the hierarchy in Unity, the layers tab in Photoshop and Substance Painter, or the collection tab in Blender, all it does is tell you what is inside of your scene. Everything you can click on in the viewport, you can find somewhere here in the outliner. If we click on any of these boxes, they will then be selected in the outliner. At any point, you can right click on an asset and in the outliner bring up more options. Browse assets shows you where the asset is inside of your content browser. Editing an asset lets you change its default state. It's kind of like editing a prefab in Unity. You can copy the file path of an asset directly, save a specific change or replace an asset entirely. You can also become an asset yourself and pilot it by holding right click and WASD EQ to move around. Then click here to unpilot it and you will see the asset in the position you left it before you bailed out. You can hide an asset by clicking here, clicking the eyeball or hitting the H key and Control H to unhide. If you want a bunch of assets to behave or move as if they were a single unit you can click here or press Control G to group them. From that point they will be grouped and you can move them as if they were stuck together. If you want to actually parent them to one another though you can either manually select a parent to your selected asset over here or simply drag the child into the parent like so. You can also detach a child from a parent with this option. You can create a level instance of an asset with this and and you've probably noticed that some things in the outliner are grouped into collections. For example, all of the blue boxes in this scene are in the collection named Simulated Cubes. Anytime you want to organize or create your own collection, you can hold shift to select multiple things. You can put them into a single collection by right clicking and under move to add it to an already existing collection or create a new one entirely. It's also possible to do the exact same thing by just clicking this icon up here without using right click. And remember, collections do not affect parenting. They are strictly just a way to visualize and organize your scene in the outliner. Also, if you hide a collection, everything inside will be hidden with it. And if you ever want to search for something in your scene, you can type what you're looking for here, and on the left, filter your search by things like audio, blueprints, meshes, whatever. Anyway, that is the gist of the outliner, and hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.